welcome to my playhouse and today I'm in the data center it has been a while since I've made a server video so I thought I would do one today and um, I have a server here and it has been blinking uh, lighting up yellow for quite a while so I thought I would take a look at that today as far as I remember it's a, a bad memory block so I wanted to go in and have a look at that but the server is right now it's turned off. Uh, that is what this blinking green button means. When it's when it's blinking, it's off. If it's a constant green, it's on. Uh, they're all off right now. They save power, so they're off. But I have I have connected the monitor, and I'm just going to connect the keyboard to it. I have a keyboard here. And I have a nice monitor right here. I have a keyboard here, but it's a PS2 keyboard, and even though I have a converter, I can't seem to get it to work. So I have to try and get another PS2 converter to uh, USB. So, so right now I'm just I'm just going to use an external keyboard like that. Power on the screen and power on the server. And we'll see what the server complains about. And the camera has a lot of trouble to focus on the black screen. Sorry about that. And we have a two processors, 3 gigahertz, and it's the X5450. And I'm gonna press F1 to go into the configuration. There we are. It has 12 megabytes of memory installed. 11. And here we have the failure. It seems number 6 is failing. And number 9 and number 12 is affected. So we'll have a, have a peek at that. See if we, if we can do anything about it. Don't think we actually need more information about that could probably just turn it off again I think I'm gonna do that and just have a look at it there we are and this server to play with that I have to remove the, the screen again because it's in the way Disconnect the keyboard and I have to go around the back and disconnect the cables to it so that I can slide it up, slide it out and open it. So as you can see the server is now dead and I should be able to slide it out. The rail system it does allow for me to put in an arm for cable guidance and stuff like that but um, my racks don't really have that much space behind of them, so I'm actually not. I'm not using that. So every time I slide a server out, I disconnect the cables. Let's go in. Let's see what it's inside. Underneath this one we have the RAM, so I'm going to take this up. It's a lot easier with two hands, I must admit that. Ah, come on. There we are. Just turn it upside down so that I don't damage this. And beneath here we have the RAM. Oh, there we are. And it's all full. Totally full. So, I'll find number 9 and number 12 and we'll have a look at them. 
If you haven't seen my video on this IBM 3650, the first model or model 1 as I call it, um, actually the memory configuration is on this uh, little thing. The memory slots has or memory dims has to be installed in a specific order and they have to be put in 2 and 2. So the first two is in 1 and 4 and the second two will then 1 and 4 will be uh, occupied and then you put in 7 and 10 and the last two you put in is 9 and 12 and that's exactly the two that was acting up so I think this is number 12 and then this is probably number 9 I'll have to look at the board um, I think there is some kind of texture down here text on the board yeah number 9 is this one and then number 12 will be this one I will uh, try to take one of them out and see if the error disappears also I can see that I have some memory blocks like this one is on this is 512 megabytes and I got a good collection of new blocks that I wanted to put in there's not a lot of room in here to navigate around so just slide the server in a bit I have a new collection of old used memory blocks here and they're all one megabyte each so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the one that's broken and actually it's this color so I have one in the right color ain't that cool and I'm gonna exchange the 512s with two one gigabytes and um, this is some rather old RAM but it's actually getting quite expensive again it's like RAM is very expensive when it's brand new and then it becomes cheap in the middle and then it becomes very expensive at the end again. So this is old equipment and you of course have to watch out for electric static thinky. Um, I know by a fact that the server racks are grounded because I did that myself. So I made sure to not touch my hair or anything stupid but I have actually never burned off a dim ram in that way I don't know if this is the broken one so we're not gonna throw it out yet and I'm gonna put this one in and even though I want to exchange some memory in in the server also I am not gonna take any more out I want this problem to be fixed before I go and generate another one. So I'm just gonna we'll put this one in. The part that goes over the memory. Otherwise it will be complaining about that. But otherwise I'll just connect power and power it up. Oops. So the server is blinking again and right now the, the error message has been reset probably it will if the error is still there it will reappear when we turn on the server. Run out the display and connect the keyboard and power up. Power is on. And it's it's complaining, so I probably took out the wrong memory module. I'm just gonna check. Yep, 
yeah, it's still complaining about the same memory blocks. So apparently I changed the wrong module. I'm gonna turn off the server again and we're gonna exchange the other one. And this is pretty much why I didn't put the cover back on because you never know. It's a lot easier to... Um, well, I exchanged number 9 and that didn't work. And right now I'm making sure that I'm grounded with the server. I have my hands on the metal. Um, so it's probably number 12 that is bad. So this memory model, module that I put up here is probably good. So I'm gonna take out number 12 and put in the other one. Take out number 12, it's there, and put in this one. There we are. The reason I haven't fixed this problem was because I ran out of memory modules. These nine servers, they use the same memory blocks and I've tried to get all of the servers equally high in memory. I was aiming for 18 gigabytes of memory in each, but I ran out of memory blocks. I went behind it and I plugged in power, so let's power it on again. And I connected the screen, so that should be good. And I'm gonna plug in the keyboard. Probably not going to be needing the keyboard. I'm just going to check if the error has gone. Let's see, yeah, you're able to see that. It actually displays an error still. That's kind of irritating. Let's see if it still is a memory error. Now it displays another number of memory, so apparently the memory error is. On. It complains that the memory size has changed, but that's not really an error. It's just that it has changed. This is apparently working. I'm gonna hurry up and turn it off before it starts booting the operating system. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna be installing to new models. I'm gonna be very careful to uh, put this away because this is apparently not really working very well. And then I have five memory modules. There's only room to exchange some memory in this thing so but yeah I'm gonna unplug power and we're gonna open it up again. Hmm. Apparently I forgot something <laughs> I forgot to put this one in. Um, didn't really complain about that, so probably not a problem. Here we are. Let's see what we have. This one is definitely 512 megabytes of RAM. That's number two. So let's see number two. Number. Two goes with number five. So probably number five is a 512 megabytes as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. It says right here on the memory blocks. Let's see, it says right there. That it's 512 my megabytes of memory. So by exchanging those with these two, which is both one gigabyte of memory, we should gain one gigabyte of memory in this server.
I can I can see that memory block number one and memory block number four is two gigabyte blocks. So there's four gigabyte blocks in these two blocks. Um, and I can see that over here is another 512 megabyte in number 11 right there number 11 so just to check just see what number number 11 goes with number 11 goes with block number 8 11 and 8 that should be this one and sure enough it's a 512 megabyte block I'm gonna put those two on the shell the, there and put in two more one gigabyte blocks so probably the server will be four, uh, 14 gigabytes now. If all of these blocks will, are working correctly. I'm going to take the chance and put up the put on the cover and hope that everything is good. And see what the memory configuration says. says. Fourteen gigabytes of memory. Three. Okay, it's complaining about that I turned it off three times, so it's gonna be using default CMOS configuration. and I'll turn it off this time. But I fixed the memory problem and I increased the server's memory size by 2 gigabytes. And I have an extra gigabyte hot spare thingy. And I forgot to put this one in. Guess I'll have to take it apart again. Mm. Well, I took it apart again, disassemble all the cables and put in the little plastic thing that I'd forgotten. And now it's booting VMware, so, so this video is now completed. I fixed the memory error and I added 2 gigabytes more of memory. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.